Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another video. Hope you're all doing great and I'm going to imbue all of my rings that I want to use for PVMing the Seer's Ring, Archer's Ring and the Ring of Suffering, making them twice as strong and I have all the points claimed almost exactly actually. I got some extra points just to get some uh, redirections for my teleport tabs as well for PVMing. So I have 83,000 points to do that but that's all my rings imbued now. Let's get into PVMing. Perfect, that's a new boss I have never killed before, Kriara, and I will pick the maximum amount, 35 of them, and hopefully we can get some good loot. It is not very likely in 35 kills, but let's see. So I'm going to make some huge investments here, I'm going to be selling my Dragon Warhammer, which in my last video, by the way, I bought for 51.5 mil, and now I'm selling it at 45 mil, and I sold it for 45.8 mil, so that cost me like 6 mil. Uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but I'm going to be buying the Dexterous Prayer Scroll because I feel like at Arma having the Rigor Prayer instead of having the Eagle Eye one is going to be a huge, huge advantage. I mean, it will be way more valuable than buying the Armadillo gear, I feel like, and it's a bit cheaper as well, and I will be needing this for a future PVMing. Anyways, like, the armor gear, is, armor gear is not always going to be good, but this one is definitely always going to be good for ranging. So, let's get that, and now we have the rigor prayer, and uh, hell yeah, I can use that, it's so strong. With the money I have left, which is 36.4 uh, mil, I'm going to be buying an armadillo crossbow, and then some black chinchompas, and dragon diamond bolts E as well, so just overall supplies. And uh, I think that should be a good setup. What I have equipped right now seems pretty good for Armadillo. And as I said, I'll be buying uh, Black Chinchompas as well. And I will be bringing a uh, Blowpipe as well. Just getting the KC with the Blowpipe as well as I will be using the Special Attack after my kills to get healing of the minions. Because, well, I, I don't really have any other special weapons to use. But getting the KC on these Aviances is way more difficult than getting it on the Imps in Samurak. So it takes a bit longer every single time, which is going to be a hassle. So here we have my first attempt, you can see in my inventory what I'm bringing in terms of restores, Saradomin brews, prey, uh, ranging potions, not prey potions, uh, and I'm bringing 200 black chinchompas because if I do die I will lose all of them regardless, it doesn't drop on the ground and you can't pick them up. So what you want to do essentially is go to the corner here and yes this is my first attempt so I will be failing a ton. But what you want to do is you want to get Kriara to move all the way to your melee range pretty much and she will only use ranged as long as you hit her. So if you hit her and uh, you just keep hitting her all the time, she will just only use ranged. But because this melee minion that is very close to me right now is hitting a large amount of damage, like most of the damage you take actually during Kriara if you don't fail like I'm doing now, is going to be from this minion. And that's why you wanna actually uh, use Chinchompas because you have both of them close to each other and you splash damage like this. So you actually have some downtime where you kill the minion so you can only focus on shooting Kriara with your diamond dragon bolts. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit Kriara once with your chin and then hit the minion and then hit Kriara again and then the minion again. And by doing that, Kriara will never melee you and if you just keep her in combat, as I said, she will only use ranged attacks. So you can see right there, I got meleeed for a 24 and that was because I didn't attack Kriara fast enough with my Chinchompas. So you have to, even if you drink Saradomin Bruce, you have to re-click real quick on Kriara so she doesn't go and melee you. So again, I screwed up my Chinchompa right there. So essentially the main thing you want to focus on in this fight is shoot first Kriara, then the minion, then Kriara, and then minion on repeat every single time until the minion dies and then just use your armadillo crossbow to finish the boss off. So my first trip ever got two kills and I failed a lot, like a lot a lot. You could see that in the clip that I had <laughs> previously to this one and uh, I think that if I fix some things I can definitely do three kills on the next trip and in the end I will probably be so comfortable that I can do four or five kills, at least that's what I'm hoping. I really thought getting the KC was annoying, so I went here and tried to get some ecumenical keys. They are 1 in 60 from the imps. I killed 468 and I got 2. Yeah, pretty damn depressing. And I actually got PK'd once as well, but I dropped everything I had on me, which was like 90k worth, so I didn't really care about it. And uh, I, w I got to keep the uh, keys because of that. But I mean, I have two keys now that I can use at the uh, chambers, so I can skip the KC. But to be completely honest with you guys, uh, yeah, getting the keys is probably better than getting these keys uh, unless you're going to be super lucky with the keys here. I'm getting a bit more used to this now, but I'm definitely not comfortable with it yet. And that is going to be a three kill trip. So 
at least one more than last time and I hope I will be able to do four or five in the next ones and I see how it can be very possible at least. If every single kill is like this, uh, I use one and a half brew pretty much on this kill, then I'll be golden. I mean, that would be the dream. <clears throat> what? Armature chestplate? What? Uh, 13 KC armor chestplate, that's like 38 mil. Did I just get that? Uh... <laughs> now we can actually use this for the kills I have left as well before I sell it. Jeez. I can't believe that, but 90 ranged coming in. Holy shit, that is a good drop. So I'm at the 25 KC mark now, and we only have 10 kills left to do, but I'm already happy with the outcome. I mean, an armadillo chest plate is just absolutely insane, and uh, I'm getting way more comfortable with this boss in general. Guys. Guys. <laughs> oh my god. 30k... <laughs> What? I just got the pet. I just got like, it's 1 in 5k. Uh, 30kc, armadillo chestplate and pet. Dude, I am... Uh, what? I just got the armor pet on 30kc. I have the armor pet actually in RS3 as well. On my, uh, on my Iron Man, I think it is. And well, it uh, took me like 100 kills to get. So something with the armor pet, I'm just blessed. There's just something about it. It's now insured as well, feels good, I can't lose it anymore, and uh, Jesus, I teleported out so fast when I got that. Armor pet and ACP in 30 kills. I mean, there's some people in the world who has like 10k Criara kills and still don't have the pet, so I, I have a feeling people should hate me. Okay, that is the assignment done, 35 kills, got 5k uh, Slayer experience for that as well, so pretty good. So I'm just winding down with uh, doing some Slayer now, hoping to get another boss task, but uh, we get a Kraken Tentacle on a uh, Cave Kraken task, and I'm actually trying to get the pet from this boss, because it would be very nice to have it, and I'm on 363kc, so just slowly every single Cave Kraken task I get, I'm doing this boss, it's very AFK and chill anyways. I just made a video where I killed a lot of barrels until I would get one barrels item and uh, well, I ended up on 63 barrels for one Guthen Spear. Probably not the uh, best use of my time. So I'm actually on another Kraken task and as I said earlier I'm doing the boss as much as I can and my case is actually over 500 now and I think the pet is 1 in 3k but the reason I'm recording is right this. 92 slayers, so in one level I can actually kill the thermonuclear smoke devil and then at 95 which is my huge goal is going to be alchemical hydra so we're getting there getting so damn close to getting my first 99 97 hit points i'm like halfway to 98 and i just got 96 strength as well I'm not sure when i get the next uh, max hit maybe i already have all the max hits but uh, yeah one step closer to 99 I actually got another Criara task, but I only wanted to take three of them because I actually want to reach the 400 the task mark. And the first kill that I do, I get a God Sword Shard too. I actually don't want to die here, so I have to actually pray the correct thing. Uh, but yeah, it's not a valuable item, but it is a drop for the collection log at least. Oh my god, 125 Abyssal Demons in the Abyss. That's like the worst thing ever, but uh, the reason why I'm at Kona right now is because this is my number 400 Slayer task. And I only have 159 points, so getting this point boost increase with Kona is what I'm aiming for right now. Now this is why this area sucks so much, and the fact that I have to kill 125 of them is going to be uh, quite the mission. It's not multi, so if these ones actually target me, like uh, I think this one, well there we go. If this one targets me, I can't actually attack another Abyssal Demon, as well as they're actually pretty far in between each other, so... Yeah, you can see I can't, <laughs> I can't attack it because these smaller ones keep attacking me, so uh, this is going to be a very enjoyable task, yeah, for sure. So it could have been way worse, they de aggroed after like 5 minutes or something like that, but that is uh, 450 points, now I have 600. You can skip quite a few tasks with that. I actually didn't know this, but you can for just normal coins buy a rune pouch from the Slayer Master. I thought you actually had to use Slayer points for it, because you did have to do that in the Twisted League, but that is the uh, rune pouch acquired. 1.2 mil is not too bad. So I'm doing some Dagonoth Kings, and Rex is actually dying way slower than the other ones, and that's probably because I don't have Augury, so I'm going to go and buy that. It's only like 2.8 mil or something like that, so it's definitely one uh, way cheaper than the Rigor one. 2.8 mil, it is uh, definitely one of the worst prayers, but uh, it is pretty good still, because 
is, uh, well, I will be barraging in the near future anyways, and that is really good for that. Now that I have quite a lot of points, I'm going to unlock some Slayer task things, which is going to be the Avianzi tasks. I just unlocked that, and also I want to unlock the Mithril Dragon task. It's a very quick task for easy points, and also a uh, Lizardman task, which uh, could give me a Dragon Warhammer if I'm really lucky in the future, you never know. I think that was like three tasks later I get my first Avianzi task, so we can do some Kriara with that, but I have to get the kill count so 40 will be gone every single time. I got to do nine Kriaras before that task was over. Unfortunately no armor piece this time. As I said earlier, I can now barrage actually even though I don't have the level for it, because if you use the divine magic potions you get a static boost of uh, four levels and that means I can now not have to spam repots to constantly barrage. I've actually never barraged Abyssal Demon tasks, and I think it is faster to do that than just using an Abyssal Whip or an Arc Light, but it's uh, a lot more annoying than the Necreals for sure, because you get teleported around all the time and all that. But the reason why I'm recording here is because I'm about to hit 98 hit points, which means in one level after this one, it will be my first 99. And it is a very good 99 as well, because it gives you lesser chance to get KO'd by bosses and stuff like that. Of course it wouldn't be an Abyssal Demon task on this account without getting an Abyssal Whip. I, I feel like I've got a one whip every single task I've done. Definitely getting some really good luck with my Slayer here. Another Black Mask. I think that's my fourth in total from uh, Cape Horrors. Actually really good that I got a Lizardman task because that means I have to get 100% Chase in favor and the Chase in armor and I do not have anywhere near close to that. It took a while, but I now have the Shazian Armor 5, and unfortunately, because I don't have the Hard Diaries done, I can't uh, put the Shazian Helm 5 into my Slayer Helmet, so I will have to use the normal helmet, which will be quite a hefty downgrade from using normal uh, Slayer Helmet, because 15% accuracy and damage is quite a huge thing. But there's a lot of requirements here to do the Hard Diaries, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, I will definitely do that in the future though. I have to do quests like Dream Mentor, which is really good for Nightmare Zone and stuff like that in the future anyways. So uh, definitely something I will do in the near future, hopefully, whenever I get future uh, Lizardman tasks. But uh, this is going to be my setup anyways for my Lizardman Shaman task that I have right now. But not to drag this video on too much, this is going to be the end of this one. I still can't believe that I was super super lucky with that Kriara pet. Let's uh, actually go over to the bank and get my pet out in just a second to have a look at it. Um, I got it in, I think it was my 30 kill count or something like that. And there's people who go like 10k without getting the pet, as I said earlier in the video. So that was pretty crazy and also the ACP, which actually I haven't sold because uh, I've been using it for PVMing and armor tasks and all that. And it's 37.6 mil that I can uh, cash in whenever I want. But as I said, this is going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.